I still have avoided black men like the plague, okay? So it's not that. It's because I cannot seem to find the right fucking white guy. What the fuck is wrong, okay? And I tried to, to vet as... Y'all, I haven't had sex this year because I've been vetting so fucking hard, okay? Old me would have already gotten by now because, she, you know, I, I'm horny. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am horny. And um, I do miss sex. I'm about to... I didn't wear makeup in this video for a reason because I might tear up, bitch. So there's this YouTuber by the name of Dee's Olivia Bish 2. And that intro should let you know the problem that she's having. She completely dislikes black men, but can't get a white man to save her life. And if you go to her community tab, you will see the frustrations that she has with black men or the hatred thereof. She's even talking about this whole DDG thing. You know, when DDG made this particular uh, quote about stinky sex, she says, listen to this. Black men are the only ones loud and proud with their nastiness. Black men are proud of having smelly dinglings. All men don't act like this. And this is who the little mermaid is claiming as her man. She's talking about Holly Bailey. But we're going to find out if she's saying the same thing that DDG is saying, because hey, it's easy to be one sided. But when we have video evidence of you doing the same thing, what's the answer? Let's check out this particular video and let's get into it. Hey, y'all, what it is, bitch. OK, so y'all, I what kind of white man wants to talk to somebody who goes, what it is? Uh? L divester. And here's why. Not because what you're you, you, what you think. No, I have not gave any niggas any chances. I still think all niggas ain't shit. I still do not believe in unicorns. I still have avoided black men like the plague, okay? So it's not that. It's because I cannot seem to find the right fucking white guy. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> so you've been avoiding black men like the plague. You don't like unicorns. Jiggas ain't ish. But you still can't find the white man. Can I get a da, 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 sound effect? <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. And I tried to, to vet as... Y'all, I haven't had sex this year because I've been vetting so fucking hard, okay? Old me would have already gotten fucked by now because, she, you know, I, I'm horny. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am horny. And um, I do miss sex. I'm about to... I didn't wear makeup in this video for a reason because I might tear up, bitch. But yeah, I've been vetting... Wait a minute. Let's bring that screenshot up about DDG talking to nasty. Like, all black men talk nastiness, but... You, you're you're seeing that you haven't been effed in a year and you're horny and you like sex what if i said no group of women talk like that but black women wouldn't that be a stereotype but i guess it's okay when you say it right let's continue it's so hard this year and it's been failing all my vetting has been failing and why can't i attract the right white guy i get it i'm crazy i have issues but bitch everybody has some type of issues i see all types of crazy bitches online who have husbands and um children and all this stuff and happy lives and i just don't why can't i attract the right fucking white guy for me <laughs> Anyway, let me get to the story before I have a fucking breakdown. Okay, okay, okay. So I went out on a date Friday night with a therapist. With This was the first time I went out on a date with an actual therapist. Like, I'm serious. And you crazy as shit, too, and you definitely need it with your dusty ass. Well, let's continue. I don't think I've ever went out on a date with a therapist. From my memory, I don't remember ever going out on a date with a therapist. But this guy, we have been talking for a whole week. We had talked on the phone. He knew about my driving issue. He knew about my panic attacks. That's it. And the fact that I used to drink a lot. He didn't block you? Drink a lot. That's it. I didn't tell him any other. I didn't tell him I was bipolar. I didn't tell him I had BPD or none, none of that shit. I didn't tell him any other mental health issue I had. Other than other than my the fact that I used to be a, used to drink a lot. And the fact that uh, now I'm sober. And the fact that I don't drive a lot because of my panic attacks and PTSD with driving. That's all. And he was, was not turned off by it. And he acted like he was. Because he's broke. Yeah, he's broke. I mean, anybody would have left your ass on red on WhatsApp if they smart on Instagram. Really into me. He always texts me, good morning, beautiful. And I can't wait to meet you Friday. Sending me memes. Like he acted like he was really into me. Okay. He liked I mean, every time I was in a picture, he would say, oh, you look so gorgeous. Uh, like he was very just interactive, right? Like he didn't give me any signs that he was not that into me at all. But y'all, Friday comes and, and by the way, he's a trauma therapist too. So this is, it's really rich. 
this story time is really rich because he's a trauma therapist and all I can see in 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 in, in this guy's personality and everything is was a huge trauma response because he just acted anyway let me tell you guys how what happened so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Friday comes he comes to pick me up mind you guys he did not open up the car door this motherfucker just sat in his car waited for me to open up the door which um I was turned off by that wait a minute he didn't open the door for you let, let, let me get let me get let, let me get my swerve on but you don't deal with black men no more but the white man won't open the door for you I, I, I know SPK gonna have fun editing this that don't make no damn sense boo I thought it was our fault but now you're having problems with the white man that you're choosing that don't got nothing to do with black men oh my god this is very interesting and he just looked sleepy like he was yawning when i got in the fucking car it was i was yawning and i felt like I was, your looks put him to sleep but that's what happened i was getting in a goddamn uber if it wasn't for him looking exactly like his pictures i would have been like bitch am i getting in an uber or what like like he was yawning then he was quiet silent for most of the trip to the sushi place we we're going to and i'm like so what's wrong like do you not like what i'm wearing because i was wearing some like purple dress i'm like do you not like the color purple or whatever <laughs> And he was like, I'm just unfamiliar with this area. I'm just a little nervous. I'm just, a, I'm, I'm in the constant state of nervousness. I'm just, I don't, I'm just. Cause you live in a hood around them same Negroes you don't like to be around. With your broke ass. Nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm like, I'm, I'm nervous. And then he started saying, well, I'm just nervous when I'm at a place where I don't know where I'm going and I'm not familiar with the area. I'm like, he had the GPS on. The GPS was playing. The place we were going was literally like, 13 minutes from my house so it really wasn't that far from my house because you don't he don't think you look like your pictures that's probably what it was also the fact that you live in section 8 housing just saying house but he, i digress so once we get to the restaurant he's like he's sitting slouching over like in the booth like this like <laughs> like 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 he's just like and he's just like and i'm like are you okay over there like like he looked like he was le- legit about to fall asleep in the goddamn booth okay girl if i was still a drinker if i still was a drunk bitch i would have been ordering all types of drinks because bitch i needed a drink to get through this damn date thank god i went through got through it sober but here's what happened so he was just like kind of just slouching over like you know in the booth kind of like he's like this is late for me i feel like a grandpa mind you it was 6 30 in the evening the fuck he was tired of your ass everybody <laughs> just, listen Black men in the comment section, if you're really tired of a chick, right? Don't you have your homeboy call you and say that somebody got shot so you can leave or something like that? Ain't that what we do? You know what I mean? Like it's getting late. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go to choir or something like that. Like, man, you know, I'm gonna pay the bill, but you know, my cousin just got shot. You know what I mean? We'd be like, you know, hey, call me in like 10 minutes, say we gotta go, I gotta go pay the bill and get up. Cause you cause ain't nothing, cause you're dusty. That's what's happening. He don't like your ass. This is this is textbook. Let me get away from her. Oh my god, why did I do this? I should have went out with the other chick type of thing. It's obvious. He's like, I got up at six thirty in the morning, and I feel so old, and I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm too old for you, Olivia. I'm like, what? Mind you guys, he knew my age. He knew. I told him. I told him on the phone how old I was. I'll be twenty nine next month. And by, by the way, he's. But he probably doesn't think that you look twenty nine. That might be what he's trying to say in so many words. He's not interested. Your type, your preference is saying no. He's 38, so not really that huge of a difference. I could see if I was 23, but he starts going on this tangent about how um, he knows that I'll be 29, I'm only 28 and I'll be 29 next month. And that he's thought about how our age differences and life experiences aren't you know, gonna line up. And I'm like, then why'd you come on this date? Because when he saw you getting in the car, it was over. That's why. He's trying to find a way for you to just, you know what I'm saying? He could take your ass home or leave you there and go to the other chick he was talking to on Tinder. Then he starts saying, well, I wanted to see you in person. I wanted to see if we actually had chemistry. I'm not sure if I like you though. And I'm like, oh, is it my looks? Do you not like what you see? He's like, no, you're just as beautiful as the pictures. I'm sorry I didn't say that. But you're just too young for me. And I'm like, what? You're not as beautiful as he thought you were in the pictures. Because no man does that and just says, oh, you're the same in the pictures, but I don't like you. Guys don't say that. There's something about you that, 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 that he probably turned them off. That's just what it was. 
I'm 29 almost. I'll be 29 next month. How is that too f***ing young for a 38 year old, huh? I begging for the white man who says no. Daddy says he doesn't want you. You're still begging. Continue. I can see, see, I can see if he was 58. If Khalees can date, they don't want you either. Date a fucking 78 year old. How come I can't date nobody that's 38? How is that too? Because Khalees looks a lot different than you, probably too. Bill Murray. That's why. How is that too old for me, huh? Anyway, y'all. Then he starts going on this rant about how he got married really young and he ha and his son is now in middle school and he doesn't want kids really. And I have on my profile that I want kids. Don't go out with me if you don't want to have kids. If you don't wait a minute like spk can you like doctor up a fake tinder profile of her just just for shits and giggles right so hi my name is d's olivia bish and don't contact me white man if you don't want to give me white babies and black babies message me can we make something like that on the back like just like on the side that would be cool right that do you see how desperate that is hey my name is this lady i'm looking for white men only don't contact me unless you want to get me pregnant <laughs> the thirst is real man like and these guys just want to smash you for the most part and then they don't really want to smash you when they see you or hear you talk crazy or something like that but let us continue believe in marriage yeah I, I, I have it on my profile. Like, it's not like it's a fucking lie. And even on the phone, when we were talking on the goddamn phone, I said, look, I would love to have a kid in the next two to, one or two years. Mm. I would love to, because I'll be 29 next month, and my time is time is ticking on my eggs and my ovaries. My eggs are frying in this <laughs> pussy. Oh, and then he starts to try to play on my heartstrings, y'all. Here's what he starts to go on this fucking rant on, which really irritates me when men do this shit. So he was telling me how emotionally abusive his ex-wife was, how she made everything a chore, and he only had a kid for her. And he does not want to make the same mistake and have a kid for a woman, okay? Because, you know, he said, he said, I, he said, I love my son, but I only have the kid for her because she bullied me into having a kid. Mm. The fuck? And then he's like, yeah, she was so mostly abusive. I had to leave her. Mm -hmm. I've been divorced since 2017 and I have not regretted. I love being alone. And the, and the only relationship I've had has only lasted two months since then. And I just love being alone. I just really would love to just go to Colorado and be by myself in the mountains. Damn, the white man went from, I want to see you, you look beautiful, to I want to date you, to damn. I want to be alone for two months. I don't even want no relationship. Damn, you done made that white man become a quote unquote black man. Very, like, you know, black men don't want commitment. Damn, you done made Zanny not want to commit too. Oh, and I'm like, why the fuck are you with me? I'm just, well, I'm thinking to my head. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why are y'all with me? Is what I was thinking in my head, y'all. Bitch, the sushi came by and bitch, I was gobbling on the sushi, whatever. And I just came. Of course. Like an octopus, just making yourself look more dusty out there in front of him. It's okay. Just go on. Kept hearing him talk. He just kept saying, well, you know, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful girl, Olivia, but you're too young for me and you want kids and that scares me. If I would ever have a kid, I would only adopt, ad adopt a, a teenager. And I'm like, why? He's like, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. My dad, he he's a, um, how do I say this? Kitty fid fiddler is what I'm going to say. Okay. Whoa. And he got arrested for it. And honestly, having a baby scares me. Okay. Uh he just pulling out all the lies to get away from you. He's trying to make himself look terrible. So you will say no. He's trying to say, I don't want a relationship. My dad is a rapist. Anything. And you're still so hung up on wanting Zaddy that you'll do anything for the white milk inside of you. Uh, so are you scared that you're going to turn to your daddy? Like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, he basically said having babies scares him. And yeah. his ex-wife basically emotionally abused him into doing mm -hmm. it, which uh, I just feel like every time a man tells me that his ex is crazy or she uh, was this and that, that, it's always a red flag. And why are you talking about your ex? No, you're crazy. You're a walking red flag. Nobody takes you serious, boo. Like, this is this is the truth, okay? Something is wrong with you. My drink's wife, since you guys divorced that long ago. And if that was such an issue, you should have read my profile. And I said, didn't you read my profile? Like, didn't you read my profile? He said, yes, I read it. And I liked how direct you were and how beautiful you were. And we had great conversations, but I really just don't want to waste your time any longer. Uh -huh. yeah, like, y'all, if I would have drove here myself to this restaurant, I would have left, okay? 
I would have fucking left. This date was a waste of my time. I, I don't have, I don't like to go on dates just to get free food, okay? I don't go on dates just to get free food anymore. I'm not a fucking 22 year old drunk ass bitch anymore that just goes on dates to get free food and drinks. I want, when I go on dates, I don't have, I want the prospect of you being my man, okay? Mm. And if you give me the, the signals over the phone that, that we're gonna match and that you like me, and when we're on the date, you're telling me you're not sure if you like me because I'm too young, what the f***? And plus I'm 28, almost 29. How is that too young for anybody that's in their 30s? And how do you feel like a grandpa at 38? Huh, how? Damn, you're still fighting for somebody that don't want you, boo. Shit. Man, mom, I'm sorry. Stop the show. I'm sorry for cursing mom, but this 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 person's crazy. And then he started telling me that he was in the military. I'm like, oh my god, no. Yeah. And he didn't even tell me that before. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, uh, it was a horrible date. Uh, basically, he dropped me back home in silence. But at the end, he said, I hope you have good luck out there. <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wise Daddy says no. Woo, 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 woo. We weren't a match. You're just too young for me, and your 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 five year plan doesn't align with my five year plan. Because he asked me what my five year plan was, and I told him straight up, I want to be married, and um, I want to have at least one baby by then in five years. Look, let me let me stop wasting your time and SBK's time, right? Your preference didn't want you. Now he's dusty, but you're not looking at why you keep having these same problems all the time. You have these problems all the time, okay? Every chance you get, you have these problems. This is a problem that a lot of ladies don't understand. You want these guys to take you serious when you're not a serious prospect. It's just what it is. You're not a serious prospect. These guys don't really like you like that. And you're trying to blame a, a, a group of men as to why you're unsuccessful. So black men, you can't find nobody good. White men, you can't find nobody good. Guess who the constant denominator is or the common denominator in all of these equations? You. So black men for the win, black men are rejoicing because we glad you don't want us because at least you're not destroying our life. But guys, subscribe, hit the bell. Shout out to SPK for the edit. We're out. Oh my God. <laughs>